So we're out today here with my 42000 and we got a trailer, we got the air compressor in. Um, I just didn't feel like taking the truck out and I haven't driven this tractor for a long so time. We got these Harrows here. This is my bigger set of the two. Um, tires are kind of flat. There is a break in the frame um, right about here. I think that's where it is, it's cracked. So we're gonna take the pin out here, or I already did I think, and we're gonna air up the rest of the tires and we're gonna drag this back. Now we have my chisel plow over there, which we got to pull out too. I have a crack in that frame too. Um, all of this is going to be getting worked up once it dries. You know, it, we've had a lot of rain out here. It was a late winter, so it hasn't really been ideal conditions for, you know, seeding. A lot of people are just seeding right about now. Some people aren't seeding yet. It really just depends on where you are, you know, in Canada here. I mean, the story with this was we were pulling this with an A26 over back, I don't know if you can even see, right at that back tree line, the very back one. He was going and he nailed the tree. He dragged it all the way back along through here and just left it because that's when the crack got really bad. It started blooming and it just, you can basically move it back and forth. Really, I mean, I could probably pull it right through here, honestly, and make a loop. But we're gonna see, the little Ford should do it. I mean, it's not really pulling anything. I've pulled these around the yard with lawn tractors. So it's just about, you know, packing it up and pulling it out. So these are your typical farm tires, you know, obviously on a Harrow. People just take their old winter tires or their old car tires and they stick them on and that's good enough for most people. And to be honest, it's good enough for me too because that's exactly what I've done before. And we got more cable here. I'm gonna grab all this here. Hopefully there's enough air in it still. It did leak, but now it doesn't. So we're gonna fill up these tires. That tire does not need to get filled up because it's not coming with us. I'm gonna come here with the A26 later and just drag it back um, with the loader. So yeah. So I'm just filling, you know, these up here and we're gonna have some disker content coming soon. Um, I can hear water in there. Uh, we're gonna have some disker content coming up soon. I gotta fill up those tires too because all of my discers have nowhere in the tires anymore. So yeah, I'd say that's good enough. You know, one thing I found out is if tires feel or look full, they're never full. Um, especially once shit sits over winter, they're always flat actually. Um, I kind of learned that the hard way. And I did that with the plow one time and I was, you know, taking tires off other stuff later because I blew them out on the road. So, you know, if, if they look like this after they've been saying and they feel good, um, they're not good. And you can see like these are taking quite a bit of air. They're small tires and luckily they're only five lugs. I think my other one is a four lug, so I can really just take any kind of, you know, green auger tire or whatever I have kicking around, which is kind of nice. And of course the valve on this one is fucked, so I can probably just tighten the valve stem. Um, yeah, that's weird, I could hear it whistling. Anyhow, you know, all you guys have been, you know, um, subscribing and liking my videos. Big thanks to you guys. Um, you know, uh, it, it takes, you know, a little bit of work here. I'm not saying that this is the hardest thing. You know, obviously, it's just, you know, I like sharing what I do. And I think, you know, you don't see a lot of this stuff anymore. Like, you don't see diamond arrows. You see, you know, these fancy single pass tillage. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of neat, I think. I think all this stuff is cool. You know, I, I like older equipment, you know, more than new stuff, honestly. And uh, so yeah, just, you know, thanks again to you guys who've been, you know, subscribing and following. It means a lot. So it me. turned out this tire didn't want air. It's, uh, the valve stem is all screwed up. Um, I can hear it leaking right now. I'll probably, what I've done is I've just put a shit ton of silicone on these in the past. I've even put tapes through here, like, electrical tape to hold them in a certain way but uh yeah I, I feel like this tire if i take this off the rim it's not going to go back on <laughs> i do have more valve stems because it is tubeless but uh i honestly don't know what to do with this 
because it's losing more air than it's gaining. So I'm just gonna stick this back on and give it more air. If anyone can, you know, identify, you know, what brand this is, that would be very helpful too. You know, I, we never really knew what brand it was. We didn't care at the time. Excuse me. We didn't care what brand it was. Um, I'm just wondering though, like, what is it? It's got the jack there. You know, like, you don't see a lot of heroes anymore. So, not a lot of these. You see the, you know, other types, but. Yeah, anyways, so we're gonna fold this up. I gotta run back, get more air. So we're back out here. I got it hooked up. I got what's left of the harrows. Um, we've kind of taken them through the years. I gotta put that one up. And then I got one over there on the chisel plow. Uh, I kind of got them up. So I'm gonna pull this thing out now and see how it goes. Hopefully it goes fine and I'm not breaking shit. But uh, that pin's gotta get readjusted. And I think I can probably put in right now, actually, the main one. By the looks of it. So I'm going to do that, and I'll get back to you guys after that. So it turns out I could not get away with doing that. Um, I actually kind of got my fence on the ground here. Um, yeah, that part's still there. So I guess I got to come back for it later with the loader. And it's pretty... Uh, it didn't like that final tug there, so... Anyhow... I got to weld a bunch of those on too. We're just going to keep taking it over. This wheel is a uh, little... I don't know what's up with this one. It's been welded, so... Fuck. I don't know. We're just going to kick it and see so how... So we're it. here. We got this heroin. Um, I got to go get the other piece, but I'm going to grab one of the tractors and we're going to go hook up the disc. So we're here. I went to go grab the other heroes to do some heroin after the disking, but... Um, that did not go well. I ended up getting stuck. So we have this piece here. We have that piece there. So basically what we have to do here is we have to take this clamp off. We have to, if there's a crack there, we got to bevel that out. And we're basically going to weld um, some pieces of pipe around it. It's funny, the same thing, same exact thing happened on the other side before we owned it and uh it's in the exact same spot like identical basically the distance in between each post here so you know you can see they basically took a pipe and just welded it around i don't know if we're gonna do it exactly like that but we're gonna do something similar so i got it propped up here and i mean it's decently level so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bevel this out a bit and weld into this and just pat it basically because I don't have any tubing. I could move the clamp over a bit, but I think just beveling it and filling it in with a bigger rod will, you know, work for now. Then I'm going to put some bracing across it. So it should be good. Um, and yeah.